Hey, Metroids, and welcome to part two of the AMA. Uh, my name is Jude Newcomb. I'm here with the CEO of Metrics Coin, Trent Richards, and we are going to give some answers to a few of the questions that we have uh, been given through our, our tweet that we put out about a week ago. And there's some good questions in there. So they're important and they're timely. So uh, let's jump right into it. Uh, the first question uh, is going to be for you, Trent. And somebody is wondering about the metrics budget uh, that was passed uh, recently. Uh, they want to know if the 20 million metrics that is put together for uh, three months of operating costs uh, through the governor program, have they been spent on marketing yet? And if so, how are the coins uh, given out? And are you worried at all about uh, anybody selling off these coins due to the liquidity on the exchanges currently? Yeah, okay, really good question. Um, when we put this proposal together, we were really, really careful of how we structured it for that exact reason. We didn't want 20 million just being dumped on an exchange. Um, that's not going to help the project in any way, shape or form. So what we did was we broke that down into subcategories and some of those subcategories are for immediate payment and some are for future payment. Now, we put out a Medium article uh, explaining that. So anyone that wants to have a read of that, just um, jump on the, our Medium um, section and you'll, you'll be able to see that. It's on the website as well. Just a basic breakdown. Uh, we had two million go to the bounty program. We had 5 million go to marketing. We had 8 million go into development. And there's a little miscellaneous section for 500,000, little things like uh, might be a telephone bill or an internet account or what have you. Um, we had a BDM commission of 8 million. Um, so these are all the subcategories. Now, so far, the BDM commissions hasn't been touched. We haven't done any new partnerships. So those coins are still sitting there for when new partnerships come so that we've got a budget there to pay BDMs. Um, the development has only just been spent and uh, that's from the new platforms that are being developed currently. Um, the marketing, that some of that's been spent, not all of it. And things like the Glean promotion that we did where a million metrics was used. Uh, the Mark Cell um, promotions where there might be a million or 1.5 million. Um, that's, that's done over a month. So again, nothing's just dumped on the market uh, for the exchanges to absorb. It's, it's more slow going. With the development, the 8 million there, these guys want to put together um, governors. They, they want to be buying into metrics. So that, that money is not going to hit the exchanges anytime soon. So it, it's very well responsibly being looked after. Uh, the next 20 million that comes, same. Some of that will be used straight away, not a lot of it. Uh, a lot of it will sit there in reserves for when it is required. Um, I hope that answers that question. Good, good, good. Uh, yeah, I, I think that covers it. Uh, the next question uh, we got in a couple different forms, and I think I'll, I'll speak to this one. It has to do with our NFT platform, upcoming NFT platform. And uh, the basic gist of it is, you know, where is, where is the NFT platform at? Uh, what kind of marketing uh, are we expecting from that? And just an overall uh, look at, are we gonna be getting NFT artists on board um, and or if it's going to be a marketplace? And to answer that, uh, yes, the NFT platform is in development. Um, I think people saw uh, about a week ago, we updated that we brought on a couple more developers to Metrics Coin full time. Uh, we couldn't be happier with that. Um, they're going to be working on a lot of different projects that we have going, uh, including the NFT platform. Uh, the NFT platform is going to be a marketplace. Uh, you're going to be able to go and buy and sell uh, any NFTs that you own or want to own. Uh, we have a marketing plan that, that should be going into effect, you know, the closer that we get to launch. Uh, that includes getting artists, uh, as many artists as we can, to uh, put their work and there are different pieces onto the, the marketplace uh, pre-launch, uh, which will give people time to, uh, you know, make and create their art or decide what they want to put on the metrics NFT platform. And 
And then when it goes live, uh, we'll have a lot of things available for people to purchase uh, right away and start trading and and offering you know different different offers to other people for for NFTs that they have. It's it's going to be a super exciting project. Uh, it's definitely obviously still in in the works. It's a roadmap item, and uh, we look to get that released as soon as it's done. And uh, you know we expect big things from it. So I appreciate the question. Uh, the Next topic uh, is pretty straightforward. Uh, a person uh, just wanted to write about, you know, the time horizon for the top twenty exchange trend. Uh, if you want to, if you want to speak to that, uh, where we're at with getting listed on the uh, top twenty exchange. Yeah, for sure. Metroids, I am as frustrated as you are. Um, this was huge news for us. Like. It, when we first started talking about getting listed on an exchange of this size, there was a lot of excitement. There was a lot of um, talk that it would never happen. You know, it's such a small project, you'd never be looked at by these exchanges. And I can't tell you how much work was involved to, to actually get it to an application stage. And then to get it past the application stage where we're actually talking with these big exchanges. Um, then we had to come up with all the money for this because we had no money. Um, you know, it, there's so much work that went into this. Then we had to go through the whole legal side and uh, we're quite worried that we weren't going to have everything in place for the legal side because it, it was very complex. Uh, we got past all that and then we got approved and you know, we were just overjoyed and we're thinking, oh, a couple of weeks we'll be listed. And it doesn't work like that. Um, unfortunately, the timing that uh, was when we went in and got through all this, all these other projects wanted it as well. And all these other projects who were better funded than us um, maybe got in before us, maybe um, paid a lot more than us. I, I don't know what the story is, but at the end of the day, we are scheduled to come out. At this stage, it's looking like September. I don't have a hard date. I, I'm really, really, really pushing for September. Um, so at this stage, I'll set a sounds like date by the end of September. Um, please don't hold me to that. It's not up to me. It's 100% up to the exchange. Um, but at this stage, we are looking mid to late September. Um, if we can do that, then we're uh, Q3, which is great. I think it's been a little bit of a blessing in disguise with this massive pullback. Um, but what we are doing is we're looking for a lot of influencers at the moment. We're looking for a lot more ambassadors to come on board. We're really going to do a big push with that. You're going to see some, uh, some tweets coming out from Jude as well, um, trying to grow uh, the people that can help us share this news. And then once we've got all these people on board, that's how we're going to do a lot of the marketing push to really let people know that, hey, this is the name of the exchange. This is the date we're going to be listed and get that pushed out as much as possible. And that's going to help uh, with the recognition of the project. It's going to get our name out there as much as possible. So I will come back to everyone with the exact date when it's released. I will come out with the name of the exchange. Uh, everything's going to be shared as soon as the exchange gives us permission. Um, but that's the best answer I can give you for now. That's a that's a great answer. I mean, we would we would totally uh, put the name out there if we could. Uh, there is no reason for us to not want to do that, and hopefully we will soon. Uh, the last question that I think uh, I'm put a couple of these questions together into the last question for you, Trent. But uh, it has to do with Wrapped MRX, and and uh, people want to know. Uh, well, one question says, when can we expect to see MRX on liquidity pools or liquidity staking using uh, DEX, which we announced uh, recently, and as well as the BSC network? And another person said, we would like to know more about Wrapped MRX for Binance Smart Chain. And when are you going to list uh, Wrapped MRX on PancakeSwap or some other uh, BSC DEX? Okay. Really good question. I wish I had a developer on here to give you some technical side. So I'll obviously steer away from the technical side, but they're ready to go. Um, we're in beta testing. Everything looks good. There's a couple of little bugs, like a, I couldn't even tell you what they are. Uh, but uh, so it, MRXE and MRXB, uh, one for the ETH chain, one for the Binance Smart Chain, both done, both completed. Um, they're looking really, really good. Um, the devs are now uh, spending more time on the short address platform, getting the, the wallet connected and so forth. Um, and we're just, the team's testing it. So as soon as the tests are done, we're ready to go. So the pancake listing and the Uniswap listing, um, that's all queued, ready to go. The liquidity pools, we've tested those, they're working. 
Um, so everything, everything's looking great. I just don't want to rush it out tomorrow without doing thorough testing. So I will say by the end of this month, uh, we will be live. Uh, everything will be released. I just want to make sure that all the bugs are out. I'd rather it be totally bug free before the release. The other thing we're doing uh, to answer the other part of that question, more around the education side, is we're going to write a Medium article, and that's underway at the moment. What is a wrapped metrics? How does the bridging work? How does the swapping work? What happens to your metrics when you swap it to E metrics or B metrics? Um, just to give a, a full education on that. And also, which wallets can I connect to? You know, is it a MetaMask wallet? Is it a Trust wallet? Is it a, a Ledger wallet? How does all that work? So th there is a bit of technical to it. There's a lot of people that don't understand how any of this works. Um, and that's why, from a team perspective, I just want to do a little bit more education with everyone um, just prior to the release. So we'll have these Medium articles come out. I'm hoping to have some videos come out as well, actually showing um, how you actually do it. Um, and we'll add that to the Metrics Academy. So we've got our work cut out for us. We're testing, we're preparing the Medium articles, we've got the videos to do. Um, but by the end of this month, it'll be out and it'll be ready to go. And again, with more ambassadors coming on board, with influencers coming on board, I really want to push that as well, because that's a huge achievement for this little micro cap um, to have three separate coins. You know, we're, we're going to have our native metrics, we're going to have the ETH chain, and we're going to have the Binance Smart Chain. So it's exciting, uh, and I'm looking forward to getting it out there. Ah, good answer on that one. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for all the questions that we had submitted in the tweet. So. Uh, made quick work of that but that doesn't mean uh, that you know the questions can stop there if you have any other questions uh, that you want answered by the team we have multiple ways of getting in contact with us uh, whether that's in discord telegram Twitter reddit Facebook you name it uh, we're on there so uh, leave a question in one of those places and we'll get back to you in real time or uh, you know you can wait for the next AMA that we'll be doing we try to do these once every quarter so with that being said thanks everybody for watching Trent thank you for answering the questions that you answered and we look forward to talking with you next time have a good night